Good morning. I'd like to uh, welcome Sarah McBride to the Delaware Building Trades Council meeting today. Um, hopefully she will be our next state representative in Congress. And uh, I just want to give you a little bit about us. We are the Delaware Building Trades. We represent over 4,000 active members and probably about two or three retirees. Um, we are what Delaware and most states see as the source of apprenticeships for men and women. Uh, we produce journeymen and journeywomen on a yearly basis. And for this, we actively need support. And to give us support, we reach out to as many people as possible and only certain ones actually come through. And Sarah is one of those that believes in what we stand for, believes in the working class, believes in blue collar workers, hardworking men and women in the state of Delaware. And I think uh, she will be perfect for the position that she's running for. Mike. Good morning. I'm Mike Hackendorn. I'm the business manager for Local 74 for the Plumbers and Pipefitters here in Delaware. I'm also the vice president of Delaware Building Trades, representing uh, 4,000 union members, men and women, here in the state of Delaware and surrounding areas. Um, just want to re reiterate what uh, President Marvellis has said about Sarah. Um, Sarah has been a staunch supporter for us, 100% union vote um, for the Delaware Building Trades and working people in, in, this, in the state. Um, she's, ha she's going to be one of our strongest advocates and a champion for us in Congress when she gets there. Uh, working people across Delaware deserve a member of Congress who is a record taking on big, big, big challenges of delivering for them. Sarah is exactly that leader. Sarah is a champion for working people, for unions, and she's a candidate, she's our candidate for Congress. Come this fall, we're going to mobilize our 4,000 members to vote for Sarah and knock doors and do whatever we need to do to get her elected. And at the end of the day, we can say the mission will be accomplished. So I want to thank Sarah for being here today and for all your support and everything you do for the, for the Delaware Building Trades and for the working people of Delaware. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, President Marvellis, Vice President Hackendorn, it is really an honor to be here today with the Delaware Building Trades. Uh, an organization that is on the front lines of uh, building Delaware and building out Delaware's middle class. We know that the middle class builds America, as the president likes to say, and that unions build the middle class. And I am proud to stand alongside the building trades and their affiliate union members, um, just as I have done in the Delaware State Senate, right now today as we move forward in this campaign for the United States Congress. After 40 years of a concerted effort to gut national labor rights laws, a 40 year effort to gut funding for the very agencies that enforce the rights and the protections that have built America's middle class. Unions here in Delaware and across the country, they don't just need lip service, they need a champion. That's why in the Delaware State Senate, I have a 100% pro-union voting record. I have stood with the Delaware Building Trades and unions across Delaware in fighting for policies that improve the lives and the working conditions of people throughout this state. From a $15 minimum wage to building out and supporting our state's apprenticeships programs to making sure that the government of Delaware is supporting a unionized workforce. And in Congress, I'll do the same. My first bill that I will add my name to in the United States House of Representatives will be the PRO Act the most pro-union legislation in our country's history. But I won't stop there. I'll make sure that we're funding the agencies tasked with protecting the rights of Delaware's workers, and I will work to enshrine in federal law President Biden's executive order that ensures that major federal projects utilize community workforce agreements so that there's local talent and union talent on the job when federal dollars are at play. These are the policies that the Delaware Building Trades have pushed forward at the state level, and I look forward to working with them in the United States House of Representatives 
to make sure that there's a law not just for Delaware, but for workers across this country. And I wanna thank each and every person who is here today for their leadership on behalf of their members, for their leadership on behalf of workers across the state, because we know that when unions are strong, our economy is strong. I've seen it firsthand in my own life. In my first job, I was proud to be part of the organizing class that unionized my first workplace. Instantaneously, we saw better pay and better benefits. My second job, when I got elected to the United States, or to the Delaware State Senate, I was a member of our union there, seeing the benefit of solidarity and unions in the work that I did every single day. And so for me, this is personal. It's not abstract. I have personally benefited from being a member of a union. And I know every single member of the Delaware Building Trades benefits from being a member of a union. More Delawareans should be able to benefit from that, and more Americans should be able to benefit from that. And I look forward to working with you all over the next several months to win this race, but more importantly, for the years to come in the United States House of Representatives to make sure we're delivering the kinds of policies that working people and their families here in Delaware still so desperately need. So thank you all very much. It's an honor to be with you today. Thank you.